This video brought to you by Loot Crate. Go to trylootcrate.com slash halocanon and use promo code BRIDGE10 to save 10% on any new subscription including the Halo Legendary Crate. Stick around to the end for more details. Welcome back, Canonites, for another episode of Theorycraft. Today is going to be a little lighter than before, but it's a subject I'm still pretty excited to talk about, the Cryptum from Halo 5. During my initial playthrough of Halo 5, I never really gave this thing much thought, but in the back of my mind, its sudden appearance kind of bothered me. It's not a major plot issue or anything, in fact, I find it quite poetic. The Chief being locked away for 10,000 years so he can change his mind, a mirror to the Didact being locked away for 100,000 years so his mind could be healed. Side note, so while the Chief could connect with the Domain while being sealed away, seeing as the Librarian advanced his evolution back on Requiem, Blue Team would be left to stew in their own thoughts for 10,000 years. Not unlike the Didact. How fucked up is that? But anyway, what always somewhat bothered me was this. Where did she get the Cryptum? Now there are a couple of ways to very easily explain this, hence why I never really talked about it before. However, I was recently talking with a buddy of mine, Riku, and he asked an interesting question. Could the Cryptum actually be the Didax? Needless to say, the idea really appealed to me. You could almost say I had a mini mind blown moment. Well, before we get into any evidence for that, let's look at the alternatives. The first that came to mind is that Cortana could simply have called it from somewhere else in the galaxy. She has access to a ton of Forerunner tech, so I don't think calling a Cryptum in would be all that hard. The second idea is that Cortana could have built it on Genesis. It is a builder world, literally meant to build worlds. Building a Cryptum, I imagine, would be pretty easy by comparison. And in case anyone was curious, there are a number of places Cortana could have acquired the knowledge to build a Cryptum. She would certainly have opportunities any of the time she was plugged into Requiem systems or on the Didact ship. She could have also gotten the blueprints, if you will, from the Domain itself or perhaps from the Warden, whom is a Promethean construct. So yeah, Cortana could have built the thing. So those are the two main ways Cortana could have obtained a Cryptum. There are likely other ways that don't pertain to the titular theory, but those are the ones that came to mind. So onto the main subject today. Could the Cryptum actually be the Didax? Let's look at the evidence. What little there is. As has been discussed in previous videos, when the Chief detonated the nuke on board Mantle's approach, the ship attempted an emergency slipspace jump. For once, however, let's look at exactly what Catalog told us. Promethean Command Warship lost primary structural control, 2557, 0725, 23, 1423, with Heart conducting emergency slipstream space, translation to sector rally point. So, the heart of Mantle's approach attempted the slipspace jump, and as we know from Halo 5, whatever succeeded ended up crashing on Requiem. I admit, after the crash here, I didn't think I'd see you again. I'm here now. And if we look back at Halo 4, when the Didact enters his ship, it does look like the Cryptum is heading straight into the quote-unquote heart, or at least the center. So, theoretically, the Didact's Cryptum could have ended up on Genesis, and if that were the case, it could be that Cortana appropriated it for her own purposes. As I noted a moment ago, there is very little evidence for this theory. At the end of the day, it really wouldn't matter where she got the Cryptum from, since it's basically just there to serve as a target for the final mission. However, I would love if 343 decided to make this Cryptum the Didax, assuming they haven't already. It has a certain poetry to it, only amplified by the parallels I highlighted at the start of the video. So what do you guys think? Cool idea, pointless speculation, completely crazy? Get a discussion going in the comments below. As always, thank you for watching, and until next time, this has been Halo Cannon. Thanks for watching. Be sure to give a like and consider subscribing and sharing this video around. Also consider subscribing to Loot Crate. By going to trylootcrate.com slash halocanon and using the promo code BRIDGE10, you can save 10% on any new crate subscription, including the Halo Legendary Crate. The order deadline for the first crate is August 15th, so if you're interested, head over and subscribe right away. They have a number of payment plans, from per crate to yearly, so you can pay however best fits your budget.